Example of that, protesters in the U.S. Capitol have poured red paint over the statue of a Confederate military officer and are demanding it be taken down. The issue of racially divisive monuments is playing at across a swathe of the country right now after the removal of a similar statue sparked violent unrest in the city of Charlottesville a week ago. And it seems no historical figures untouched right now, as Caleb Mopin's been finding out. Not long ago, we were out here on the streets of New York asking people if they thought that every monument to a slave owner should be demolished, even if they're founding fathers. Did they stop Madison Avenue? And, and rename it? Yeah. No, 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 I think it's fine. Oh, if one person is affected while they're walking by this, I think it'd be a good idea to take it down. Anything that's owned by a slave owner should be changed? Yeah, it should be. Washington didn't go to war to defend slavery, and I think context is very important. Even though we didn't expect people to want to tear down monuments to figures that are almost sacred in American history, like George Washington or Thomas Jefferson, the idea now seems to be gaining momentum. He wasn't protecting my freedom. I wasn't someone who my ancestors weren't deemed human beings to him. And so to me, I don't care if it's a George Washington statue or a Thomas Jefferson statue or a Robert E. Lee statue. They all need to come down. And if those two aren't enough for you, how about we try Let's Blow Up Mount Rushmore? That was actually the title of an article from Vice Media before they changed it to something a little less sensational. But the point was pretty much the same. Now, it's certainly true that George Washington and Thomas Jefferson owned slaves. Mr. President, look, I think the issue is that you and Robert E. Lee both owned slaves. Right. That was bad. That was wrong. Yeah. But if you want to talk about owning slaves, you should really be talking about Thomas Jefferson. Whoa, 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 whoa! Abraham Lincoln certainly did not own slaves. He was always an outspoken opponent of slavery, which he ended up abolishing in the context of a civil war. Now, you would think he wouldn't be a target for anger, but the people who did this certainly think he is. This type of action should have been taken then perhaps 50 years ago with the civil rights movement. Because, I mean, at the time, if we're talking about slavery and racism and thinking that it's all about black people and, you know, attacking uh, people on minorities, but I am completely against the fact that we're going to go now and try to destroy monuments like we are, like, you know, becoming an ISIS terrorist group. And I think this is whole uh, situation has been created by certain media outlets, like, for example, uh, CNN, that they have, you know, pushed down on the narrative on the fact that, you know, that Trump is a racist or that everybody that supported Trump is a racist or, or even going further, that every single white person is racist. And I'm completely against this. If you're going to launch a full-scale war against history, you should probably expect that there's going to be collateral damage. Caleb Maupin, RT, New York.